Hey, it is Greg Milby, Kentucky's Heartland at Kentucky'sHeartland.com, sharing the stories, people, and events, powering the Heartland. And this weekend, we have a, uh, a unique event coming to the Heartland. It is the Elizabethtown Film Festival. With me, we have Rick Roman. Rick is a big, big to-do. Uh, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to put your graphic on the screen. You're the movie dude. All right. I'm the fun dude, too. Right. I mean, you own a movie theater. You're a movie maker. So movie dude, I think, is uh, it sounds a little less professional. Okay, you call That's me the movie like dude. dude. So uh, Rick is here with us today to talk about the Elizabethtown Film Festival. So where, where did the idea, first of all, come for the film festival? Well, it, it started with the News Enterprise a while back did a story about a local filmmaker, Chris Gatross. And uh, I connected with him because I wanted to show his film at our movie theater. I mean, every filmmaker out there... Uh, that's just started when always love to see it on the big screen and they don't always get that opportunity so i talked with chris i said you know i cannot uh, we'll get, let's get your screen let's get your movie on the big screen you can see it how it would look do you blow and, his mind with that uh, i blew i think i think that I, I don't know if i blew his mind well i mean you know he brought a lot of he brought his friends and relatives well, yeah, how many times is, is is a is a owner of a theater going to call up a a local movie maker and say hey i want to put your movie on my big screen well i don't think there's too many theaters <laughs> out there to do. i don't i i don't know if any of them have ever done that especially the chains the chains like everything in order and when you do something like this we had a, he had a six minute movie and we had to disrupt our whole schedule just so he could see it and that was fine it worked out great his he had a great time he got to see it and hopefully that inspires him to make a lot more movies uh, but because of that him and i became friends and we started talking about well why don't we like you know would a, would a film festival work in in the community here and uh, he asked a lot of his filmmaker friends and we came back with a lot of positive input we posted on we, we i created a e-town film society mm -hmm. we posted it there to see what they thought about it and uh it was like everybody says, yeah, let's do it. So we did it. Yeah. So it's this weekend, uh, Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. You can find the, the times listed at Kentucky'sHeartland.com on the community calendar page. What I think is cool is it's, it's a series of sh 17 short feature and documentary films. And every we're talking films from two to three minutes long up to films that are running um, over an hour. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a big variety of, of, of Yeah, that's of what's films. really great about a film festival. Is you get a lot of, you get like the four Scott movies, you know, there's a lot of box, you know, a lot of different candy in that box of chocolate. And that's what you get with a film festival. Man, you're, you're going after my heart. That's like my favorite movie. If you bring well, up Rudy, okay, we're well, going to be best I have, friends. I have to plug the four Scott movie now. It's like, I think the 25th anniversary of it. And one of the things we do at Crown, Crown Point Theater is rerun we run, we play old movies for charity. So we are playing the Ghost, not, well, we're playing Ghostbusters, mm -hmm. but uh, in October, but in September, next Sunday, the 20, 22nd, we are playing uh, Force Gump for the Habitat for Humanity. Yeah, I'll be there. Okay. I'll, I, my wife will probably have duct tape on my mouth, so I'm not quoting all of this. It's one of my favorite movies. I, I was, uh, just to give you a little background on me, I used to help, I helped Regal start their company back in the 90s. And uh, one of the things I did for them, uh, I was their secret shopper. So when you're a secret shopper, you'd have to go into a theater and watch a movie and count how many people are there and see how the, the ushers come in to check out upon everything. And uh, I always had to pick a movie that summer to see. So I always wound up picking Forrest Gump. It was just a great movie. That's it. I, I love that movie. That Shawshank Redemption and Rudy. Life would be good for me if we were that. Rudy. So we don't I've been ready my whole life. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. If you don't cry with that. Except for KFC is ruining that for me right now because Sean Astin is the new... Uh, Colonel. Oh, 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 really? Yeah. And so I, I broke my that. streak of crying every time he says I've been ready but for this. The Rudy is it's, it's a great movie. I, I always love the part where he's going to quit and the uh, the janitor says, like, you're five foot nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah Isn't that big speech? Yeah, no, it's but, great. But you know what? Rudy had dreams and he made it happen. And I know a lot of these independent filmmakers, these local filmmakers, they have dreams of, one, being on the big screen, and then, two, being big, big time. But... One of the reasons you did this is because you wanted to give them an opportunity to see their film on a big screen. Yeah, I think that when you're just starting out as a filmmaker, you don't get the opportunity to see your You get it on YouTube, or but you don't get to see it on the big screen. So hopefully these films, you know, the filmmakers will get it on the big screen, be inspired, and, and make more movies. And uh, everybody's got to start somewhere. Yeah. So, uh, and, so, and the th you know, they're all not going to become Spielbergs. 
but you never know who could become a Spielberg. So, you know, so much in the entertainment business, and I'm a songwriter, and I've been rejected many, many times by, you know, people that won't even listen to your songs. So I know what it's like to be a filmmaker and try to get your film, you know, distributed, and uh, I just want to do my part to help me get going. There you go. So they're living out a dream. Now, when if people, and when people come to the film festival, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, is there going to be a gap in between each film? So if somebody wanted to come in and maybe watch five films, can they do that, or, or are they going to be disrupted? Yeah. Do they need to be With there for their, the entire time? Their ticket is a all-day pass, and they can go in and out of the... of the. It's actually, the whole film festival from start to finish is like five and almost six hours. We have two intermissions in it, and they have the ability to go in and out any time. And we give them the schedule of all the films and everything so they can pick and choose. Uh, tomorrow we're announcing the winners of the festival so they can make sure that they see the winners. And uh, It's a good deal. All right, $5 gets you in. That's a great deal. Uh, for an all-day pass for a film festival, that's fabulous. And there is a festival schedule listed at Kentucky's Heartland Dot com as well. You can find that uh, on the calendar page. Uh, also, if you're watching this at Kentucky'sHeartland.com, you can scroll right below this video and there's a link to get you directly to where you need to find that. So, uh, do you plan on doing this again? Is this something you want to do? I know it's the inaugural, but is this something you're already thinking about? Because you have, I mean, 17 short feature films is a pretty successful first year film festival. Yeah, I think we definitely want to do it every year. I mean, we just started, we made the announcement like the middle of August and we got 17 films and this was, you know, I hate to say a last minute affair. I mean, it's well, it's very well organized, but we did not have a lot of time to, you know, to publish it to the filmmakers and to get films. So I think getting 17 films on short notice is great. So I would, uh, you know, expect next year we'll have 10 hours of films. Because most likely these have already, were already produced before you even come up with yes, this idea yes. because because I know you have two films that are being featured in this as well. Uh, talk about that real quick too. Um, how long does it take to produce a film? When I do videos, you know, it's a quick turnaround type thing, but when you're doing movies, there's, there's a lot more work into it. What type of turnaround are we talking? Well, I can speak about my two films. Uh, you know, everybody has, you know, when you're just starting out, you've got no budgets, you're using a lot of volunteers, so it takes a lot longer to put together a project with a volunteer. If you have a big budget, you can hire people, you can get, you can produce films rather, you know, in a, in a short fashion. But like for my one film, uh, Hiding from the Rain, which is, people call it a six minute notebook. Uh, it's hmm. a story about a caregiver's love, and he loses his wife to Alzheimer's. And uh, it's been used by 14 different Alzheimer's organizations to help the cause and everything. But that took like six months with the volunteers. And a lot of that was we needed to shoot in the, uh, the fall and in the spring type of thing. So, uh, so that's sort of the exception to, that's why it took six months. If, if we didn't have to do it like that, we probably could have got it done in a month. Now, my other film we're we're in this together as a story it's a documentary about cancer survivors and we actually put together that and got it done in about two months and we interviewed six different cancer survivors with their their moms and we had like three hours of, of, of interviews you know film and we cut it down to two minutes for the video and and but yeah it's about a two-month process so yeah that's uh, definitely two that you want to uh, check out because of what the, the topics are about and speaking of uh, that hard memorial Hospital Hard Memorial Health Foundation is going to be benefiting from this uh, this film festival. So your five dollars, you're not putting four dollars and ninety five cents in your pocket and giving them five. No, cents. You're, all you're... the all the money, it, the, all the five dollars goes toward the foundation. The only thing that doesn't go to the foundation is the thirty cents in taxes that you know Kentucky gets. Yeah, well, you, you got to take care of that with those folks. As well, well, they're not going to let us get away with you know not yeah. paying the taxes. So, all right, so uh, and, and they use the money for good. That they do. All right, so the Elizabethtown Film Festival, the thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth Crown Point Theater in Elizabethtown. Do you, uh, is it going to be in the theater with the fancy laid back chairs and yeah, all yeah, that? yeah. It's in uh, it's in our hundred seat theater with a, almost a fifty foot screen. Man, living large. And, and we set the times up that on Friday it starts at like six fifteen. Uh, you know, everybody's working during the day, so we want to make sure it would be get a lot of prime time coverage. On Saturday it starts at three because we know everybody doesn't want to go in the evening. So it's 
it's some matinee times all the way through the early evening times. Mm-hmm. And on Sunday, it's got the prime matinee time of 1.30, and it goes to their early evenings, too, there. So so we try to set up a variety of the, It's the same 17 films in every day in mm-hmm. the same order. It's just we vary the times, so we give people different times that can't make an evening show, you can make a matinee. And make it accessible because, you know, in, in the world that we live in now, everybody has something going on. So yeah, that's can, true. There's, there's a time that you can get over for that. So the Elizabethtown Film Festival at a, the Crown Point Theater, and that is coming up this weekend. He's the movie dude, I'll say it again, Rick Roman. Not many people call you the movie dude, do they? No, but... Well, you just, call me George when you got here, so... Yeah, I okay. call him... Okay. <laughs> I, I, that's true. I call him George because I remember he's, his name started with a G. Uh-huh. So I figured, well, either George or, or Greg, and I, I had a 50% chance of getting I, it right. I loved it. Hey, you made my day because I do a lot of different stuff in this community, and, and I... Every so often, you need to be uh, brought back down to earth because people know, oh, you're Greg. You're Greg from the radio. You're Greg from Kentucky's Heartland, mm-hmm. or, or you're Greg from Heartland Communications, or you're Greg from the race management. You walked right up the steps. Hey, George. I was like, yes, life is good. I was good. very confident. There I was very you confident go. in my 50% choice. <laughs> He's Rick. I'm Greg. Don't forget the hey, film festival this weekend. Thanks for having me. Anytime. We well, hope to you. see you at the movies. Yeah, if you don't, he's going to come hunt you down. All right, this is Kentucky's Heartland. Thanks for watching.